So what we've got here is an Acer Aspire 5. It's an A514-52 14 inch laptop. Comes with an Intel Core i3 processor, 256 gig SSD drive, and um, four gig of memory. So it can go up to a maximum of 12 gig of memory, which seems a bit weird. 12 gig maximum installable RAM. Okay. Right, so what we've got here is, first of all, we open the box. This is for upgradable slash additional storage. So the drive itself is an NVMe drive that comes with it. If you want to add additional storage, then you've got the ability to do that by way of this bracket. So you can add a two and a half inch uh, SSD drive and you've got your SATA connection ribbon, ribbon cable um, that connects into a connector on the motherboard and this end plugs into the SATA disk itself. They're giving you all the screws as well so that's great news. Um, we're not going to be going through any of that today we're just going to be talking about the video uh, sorry we're just going to be talking about the laptop and doing a review on it. So as with all Acer laptops um, it's well packaged got a tiny little power brick so this power charger will doesn't say how many watts it is but I presume it's a 45.1 watt again which it is so it's 45 watt power supply UK plug that comes in there um, so the battery life on this is supposed to be good so it's a, because it's a core i3 processor it's fairly low power usage um, the battery life is supposed to be 12 and a half hours, which is good. So you get more than a full day of use out of it. And again, as with all Acer laptops, I really like the packaging that they put in there. So, um, soft cloth, uh, cover, which is great. So that just slides out from there. And then when we open up, the laptop we should have a screen protector which we do which is brilliant so the usual standard packaging from Acer is very good um, some of the other bigger manufacturers should take note of that rather than using plastic bags okay so let's now have a look around the laptop so as with the um, all Acer laptops we've got our two speaker grills at the front here left and right we've got our air intake here um, with the copper heat sink as you can see here running up around the round the top to the fan which is just under here and then underneath the hood on this one we shouldn't have any breather holes well we do actually which is great so right underneath the hinge we'll show you on the back here but underneath the hinge here you can see there's the um, the heat sink output just underneath there and there's um also another one on this side so on the on the back bezel of the base case are the two um heat sink outputs so the airflow is um suck in air from here and exhaust it through through the uh, the vents there so um as i mentioned it's an acer aspire it's got nice soft touch keys um we've got our mouse track pad with our fingerprint reader in there um, and our on off switch we've got a webcam HD webcam up there so let's talk about the connectivity so connections on the side we've got our Kensington lock we've got our power light and our hard disk activity light there we've got a USB port here and we've got a headset jack so that is headphones and microphone combined jack there on the other side, we've got a USB Type-C Thunderbolt port and we've got two USB 3 ports here, HDMI out and um, our gigabit network connectivity and our power adapter slot there. So dual microphones, uh, dual speakers, Acer True Harmony, uh, the specification of the screen so it's a full HD panel it's an IPS LCD screen um, and it's not a touch screen 
you wouldn't expect that from um, this priced laptop. Again, thin bezels around the outside, thicker bezel at the bottom, which is absolutely fine, and the top because obviously it's got to house the, um, the webcam. So this is not um, Wi-Fi 6, so this is Wi-Fi 5, which is two by two. Um, and obviously it comes with a gigabit ethernet port, comes with Bluetooth 5. And let's talk about the, go back and talk about the USB ports. So on this side, we've got the black USB port. So this is a USB 2 port. And then on the right hand side, we've got our two blue USB 3 ports, which are USB 3.1. Um, so that's Gen 1 USB 3, so that's 5 gigabit second transfer rates on that. Uh, overall weight is 1.5 kilos. And in terms of bundled software, what do we get with it? So it comes bundled with Norton Internet Security, um, GoTrust, and the usual Acer configuration. There'll be some bloatware on there that we need to remove before we um, take it to our client. Um, so in terms of webcam, so this will be I'm not sure whether it's um, 1080 or 720, but it's an HD webcam. I'm assuming it's a 720p webcam. And that's all there is to it. Um, let's now just quickly have a look at the finish. So this is a matte black finish. It's quite, quite nice. You've got a shimmer effect in the light on it, which looks quite nice. And um, in terms of getting into the unit underneath for the additional storage um, there are a series of screws around the bottom these are just small phillips screws and again looking at this there's plenty of room to get a prizer tool under there and pop that lid off um, to be able to get in and change the or add uh, additional storage if you need it. As I mentioned, this comes with 256 gig. So in terms of a use case for this laptop, um, really realistically, we are looking at basic use because it's a Core i3 processor. So let's talk about the processor type itself. So it's a 10th gen processor. It's a 10110U processor, dual core. So it's a lower end of the, the Core i3, uh, 2.1 gigahertz, is the base clock speed bursting up to 4.1 gigahertz and it comes with a 4 meg onboard cache. Um, installed memory, so this device comes with 4 gig of installed memory running at 2133 megahertz um, and that is pretty much all there is to say on that. So what we're going to do now is we will, the usual thing, we'll get it plugged in, we'll get the initial installation of Windows done, and then we'll come back and we'll have a quick look at the performance and we'll see what sort of bloatware we get on there. Okay, so let's now have a look to see what they bundle in, in terms of bloatware. So to do that, you wanna go into your uh, settings and then apps, and then we just have a run down to see what's in here that's uh, bundled in. Okay, so this is Dropbox, so we can get rid of that. Um, I'm not gonna get do that now, but I will go through and do all that afterwards. Facebook Messenger, yep, I'll remove that as well. Office 365, we'll leave that on because they're gonna be using Office 365. And the games we'll leave on as well because this is gonna be for a, um, a teenager who is gonna be doing rather a lot more home or working from home, homeschooling, whatever you wanna call it, dialing into online lessons that kind of thing going forward. So um, he previously had a Google Chromebook um, that then got reformatted and loaded with Windows 10, but obviously you can imagine the performance of that was pretty poor. Um, so, <clears throat> so let's now talk about the operating system. So normally you would get Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro. So this is Windows 10 
S. Okay, so let's talk about Windows 10 S. So Windows 10 S, it's a um, it's an overlay, if you like, onto your Windows 10 operating system. It either works with Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro, and the S option uh, stands for security. So what it does, basically, it um, strips down your version of Windows and tailors it for performance um, and security. So what does that mean in terms of your functionality? Well, nothing. Windows behaves exactly the same as it's always done. However, um, with the S option, you will only be able to install apps from the Microsoft App Store, and you will also um, need to use the Microsoft Edge browser uh, for web browsing. Um, apart from that, everything else works just fine so you can still navigate to websites to download the software but when it, uh, and it will let you download the software but when you click on to open or install the file um, it will then open up the Microsoft App Store and tell you that you need to download it from the App Store why is that so um, the S stands for security so everything that's contained in the Microsoft App Store has been verified in terms of um, reliability um, no bundle pup in with it, all of that kind of stuff. So it means that um, uh, you're going to be better protected, basically. Um, you can disable it, but once you disable the S mode, that's it. You can't go back, basically. So who's it for? Um, I would recommend it for um, school kids that are doing homework, basically. Um, it just means that they can only download apps via the um, via the App Store, which means they're not going to be downloading some dodgy application. And also, because they're forced to use the Edge browser, um, it means that, um, again, security is all built in and wrapped in with the Edge browser and the operating system. So that's Windows, uh, Windows 10 S. Um, as I mentioned, you can disable it, but once you've disabled it, there's no going back. You can't re-enable it again, so just bear that in mind. All right? Nothing else to report on that, so we're going to go through and remove all the bloatware now. Um, but before we do that, we're just going to do a quick shutdown. And we are going to have a look at the boot time. Okay, so that's gone off. Okay, so time for uh, cold start to boot up was um, just under 10 seconds. Um, so that is very responsive, very quick to load the apps. Um, I wouldn't expect anything less, to be honest. Um, so do we recommend this product? Yep, absolutely. It's great for home use, uh, working from home for everyday tasks. So that's browsing the internet, using office applications, um, using email, trawling around the internet, that kind of thing. Um, it's ideal for that. Um, it'll, you know, if you've got basic photo editing to do, um, you can do that, but just don't expect huge results for doing video processing, for instance. Um, it's not designed for that. So um, this is great for a someone who is still at school, perhaps, um, needs a laptop when they are going to be attending online courses or doing homework. Um, what you do want to do is make sure that you add any necessary security that you might want. So for instance, all of, all of the ISPs nowadays, they come with their own um, AV scanning in the cloud. Um, you want to make sure that um, if your provider gives you free antivirus, then take advantage of that, get antivirus loaded on it locally. Um, we won't be loading any antivirus on it. We're gonna be using the Windows 10 antivirus uh, that comes built in with Windows on this. It'll be up to the owner to put their own antivirus on there if they want it. So let's talk about the price. So this was 449, including VAT from Curry's PC World, and it was free delivery. So in terms of um, 
quality. This is a 14 inch laptop. Um, it's good build quality, uh, although it's a sort of slightly plasticky um, case, then you know you get that with all the all of the lower end laptops. Um, but it's still very good build quality. The keyboard is nice soft touch keys. You've got all of your functions along the top here as well. So um, make, making use of those, putting it to sleep, switching off your Wi-Fi, lightening, darkening the screen brightness, all of that kind of functionality is all based along the top function buttons. So if you found that video useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and just like to say thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.